champion mindset. So what I'm doing is, like a martial artist, you're going to tap into that inner energy and chi. So you've got a mind-body link. And until you can truthfully feel that, you're a little bit off beam. You ain't got it sort of pulled in. As soon as you can tap that in, for example, when I can really train hard, I can summon adrenaline. And even like I did breathing exercises with Sean. And um, actually change how you breathe. In certain exercises, you can change how you breathe. Yeah. And then maximize you know, oxygen, oxygenated blood. And you can just, you can just look at increasing, again, it's small incremental things. But the, the big thing is goal setting in your mind's eye. And then I always say, visualize what, you, what you're doing. Don't entertain failure. You know it's gonna be a bitch. So, you know, you, you've got to entertain that and actually embrace that pain in a constructive way and use constructive aggression to get you through. Because if you're gonna, you went here to play patty cake, that ain't gonna get you anywhere. So if you, if you wanna put something on it, that's what you've gotta do. You've gotta go balls out and get it. And there's no other way, you know what I mean? Yep. It's gotta stay fun, because the minute you lose the fun, then again, you, you lost that angle, you've lost that connection. So you have to be connected with what you're doing all the time. So it even goes down to, and I truthfully believe, I actually try <laughs> and control the atmosphere around me, like mentally, physically charge the atoms and the ions around me. So I, 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 there's a charge, I can't even put my finger on it, I just want to create that energy, that field, zone into it, boom. And that's my belief. So we do it that way, so it's, uh, yeah. yeah. So it's just another angle and it's just any, any little thing that you can do to train. I'm not saying you're going out thinking you're superior to other people, but you've got to you try have and have free. A positive. Yeah, it's a positive thing. Because I was I was benching what was like two hundred yeah. and I couldn't I couldn't get over the two hundred mark yeah. for a while because in my head I think I was I was happy and then I carried on with the strength training and then week by week just by coming in positively. I was I got up to 250 yeah. in in the space of a month, yeah. and it was only for two reps, but it was because I was going into it and I was saying I'm going to do it. So Instead you, had, of so you down, added 50 thinking, kilos just 250 by 250 kilos, yeah, yeah. flat bench press, yeah, and uh, free bar, and it was it. I had I I I, I knew I was going to do it. Instead yeah. of thinking like you were saying, there was no doubt I was going into that, and I was saying I'm I'm going to do it, and it just the positivity. It, it definitely helped me get over over that mark, and it, yeah. and it did. And I think if you come into the gym now, and I actually think about it before the day, I'll be at work and I'll be thinking about it, and the whole day was just building up to that to that two reps. And I think in, in your head, if you tell yourself you can do it, you, you you will do it. Any sort of negativity in your head that could cause injuries, and I mean, especially with flat bench, and you could rotate the calf or tear a pec or, or something like that, and that's pretty much uh, you for. Yeah. For, a, for a long time. Yeah. So basically, believe to achieve. I think it's Neil Hill. You, you he trains Flex Lewis. He's always, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, always yeah. said, like, believe yeah. to achieve. And Tom Platts, he had the best legs in the world. Yeah. Tom Platts was really into his, his meditation and stuff. And, and I think that you know you've got to you've got to want it. I think everyone wants wants the wants the body, but they don't want to put the effort in. And it's hard after being at work all day to come in the gym at night and give it give it everything you've got to, to get a better body. You've got to be a certain person to want to come in and I think this is the good thing about Blitz Gym is that everybody in it is in it for the same reason. Yeah. Everybody we're all here to grow, to get leaner and we're all we're all here to help each other out. There's no animosity, there's no egos, it's, it's a real good gym to to get the people to help you spot in and it's and it's just a, a it's really a, a dying gym, the old spitting sawdust sort of vibe to it and it's all the uh, downstairs we've got loads of pictures of